The 2016 Monster Energy Cup. The Monster Energy Cup, here we go. Into the first corner, breaking was gonna be a huge challenge. Baggett with the first hole shot of the night, but it's Roxon out front. Here's Tomac coming on, charging right up to the backside of Baggett here. This is a battle for second place. It's Ken Roxon gets the first win of the night. Here we go, get drop top. Dropping down through the gears, hard on the brakes after thundering through fifth gear, 60 plus miles an hour. Now down through this rhythm section and Roxon's back out. What a battle here between some multi-champions. Dungey on the five and Reed, the Australian on his blue, number 22 Yamaha. Oh, Roxon goes over the bars and there goes a million dollars. You gotta be kidding me, Ralph. Two races down, one to go. 100 grand to the winner. It's the Monster Energy Cup, live from Las Vegas. Well, here's a look at the past winners of this event. And once again, Jeff, only Ryan Villapoto in the first year won the million bucks. I, you know, when, when he did it that first year, it was kind of like, gee, maybe it's not that hard to do, right? We've never seen it since. We've never even seen anybody repeat it. And it looks like tonight we're probably going to have another first-time winner. Well, for sure, because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Roxon's out, yep. And Stewart, Millsaps, Tomac setting in a great spot though. Uh, Dungey right there, just two points behind. I mean, Muscan keeps getting better. We, the way the night's gone, I mean, you, everything could be completely shaken up this race. Check out this unique angle brought to you by GoPro. Jeff, it's from the start here. That is a unique angle, wow. So let me ask you this, after seeing this here tonight, would you like to see a start like that in a points race? Oof. Uh, I would. interesting, but I'm not, I'm, I'm just I know you I would. would. Yes. Well, I, I, I like the fact that uh, our Monster Energy Cup track has all of these uh, unique features and really makes, uh, sets this race apart from our uh, championship races. So I, I think I'd just like to keep it here. Monster Energy Spider Cam for this final race of the night in the final 30 second board ticking down. Somebody is going to win 100 grand here tonight and have a massive amount of momentum going into the holidays and getting ready for Anaheim in January and the 2017 Monster Energy Championship. Here we go. Who's gonna take home a hundred grand from Vegas? Oh, is it Alessi or Chad it's Reed? Reed? who's out front, and that is Roxon competing here on his number one. But it's Alessi who will take the lead. Oh, Reed Coming goes out down. of the corner, and Reed goes down in front of the pack. Mike Alessi out front on the Smart Top Moto Concepts Honda. Hey, he figures if his teammate can do it in the amateur all-stars, he can do it in the cup class. Nice start there. Ken Roxon, what could have been, sits in second. And here's Muscan with Seeley right behind him. And where are the guys battling for the 100 grand? They're all further back than that. You got Muscan in third, Dungey There's in Dungey. fifth. Tomac back in 10th. Terrible start for Eli Tomac. Muscan, as they run, Jeff, leads the points. He's actually tied with Dungey here. Here they are, Muscan's on that orange KTM. Boy, how close. You got Seeley on the red Honda sandwich between them, and then Muscan's teammate Ryan Dungey right there behind him. How close Marvin Muscan came to winning his first points race at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta back in February of this year. He didn't get it, that controversial last lap, and Jeff, he can win $100,000 here tonight. It's not a points race. It might make him feel a little bit better about it. Well, yeah, and just like in Atlanta, it was his teammate Ryan Dungey that he's battling with. Now, obviously, we're only on lap two of 10, and a lot can happen in these next uh, eight laps. 
but uh, Muskan and Dungy really have been pretty solid here tonight and now put themselves in the position to win it. Here's Tomac all the way back here. Oh, no, he needs to make some passes. He's in seventh, and he's third in the points the way they run, and they're all tied. Muskan, Dungy, Tomac tied right now in the points. Meanwhile, out front, Alessi still has the lead. Look at this. Roxon charging hard, trying to make up for it. He has fallen all the way back to eighth in oh, the overall Roxon standings makes a and a bobble there. Yeah, makes a mistake in that rhythm section. Recovers nicely. If you notice, there's a little roller after the rhythm section. Roxon tripled that, gained some uh, time, made some time back. On, a, on Alessi quickly, but Muscan is, he's right there behind Roxon, and Muscan has the type of speed here today that it could take to win this race. And I believe if Muscan can win this moto, this third and final race, I think he can win the Monster Energy Cup. Watching from our Monster Energy Spider Cam, coming to the finish line jump. The best Michael Lessi has finished in one of the three races at any of uh, the Monster Energy Cups was ninth in 2012. And Jeff, he's got a shot at winning this one. Yeah, it looks good out front right now, but I really have a feeling, though, that we're going to see this top five or six really bunch up. Look how close they are right there, all the way back to Tomac, maybe even blows the 34 right in that Rocky Mountain. ATV MC KTM. Well, I tell you, even with the hurt toe that Jenny pointed out on Ken Roxton, he's still riding great here, Jeff, and he has really let everybody know going into the offseason preparation for Anaheim in January, he's going to be a force to deal with when they drop the gate there in Angel Stadium. Yeah, because the Roxton's back on it once again. Look at that holding a tighter line. Watching this right hander. Roxon right there inside on Alessi, new leader. Alessi gave him room right there. Didn't want to get into a situation where they lock bars and uh, connect, but can Alessi make the move back on Roxon? He's back to the inside. And Tomac moving through the field. He is caught up to the back of Sealy. So the way they run right now, Dungy Tomac tied for the lead at nine points apiece. Moosecan drops to third, one behind them. Uh, it's that one lap to go, Ralph. This top six is really going to bunch up. The problem for everybody else, uh, as far as winning this race, is that Roxon now has a clear track, and we know how fast he's been. And there goes Tomac past Sealy. That should put Tomac into the lead of the overall. It does by one over Dungey, two over Mooskamp. Now it's time for Ryan Dungey to get the message in the signboard area from his mechanic that he's got to make some moves if he's going to win that hundred thousand dollars in the monster energy cup dungy second to roxon here a year ago he's going to have to get around moosecan moosecan just goes around alessi now maybe ryan can get around alessi and that would help him out dungy right there on that number five red bull ktm Muscan looks so smooth. Dungey's back there charging. Look now, he's yeah, got here's company. Tomac. Tomac has closed up on him. Here comes Dungey through the rhythm lane. He's closing in on Alessi. That could be the pass that could get him tied up there with Tomac if he can just get around Alessi. Alessi slams the door, gets to the inside. And don't forget, Ralph, that in all this chaos, when you're riding bar to bar like this, this is when you have the potential as Dungey takes the spot to miss the Joker lane. Dungey gets around him. Now it's Tomac by one over Muscan and, no, Dungey now moves to a tie with him and Tomac, Muscan one back, nine points. Wow, this is crazy as we work our way halfway through this one. And that move should put Tomac, watch when they cross the Yep, back to the front he goes. Side. Tomac down to seven points, Dungey at eight, Muscan at nine. Best thing Tomac could do is get around Dungey right now. That would really put him in a great spot. Here he comes, making a run at him. Inside, got him. That's a big move right there. That's going to give him an extra point to work with. That was a, little a bit of huge move. 
Tomac, who started 10th now, has worked his way all the way up to third. He's only a few seconds off of the lead. They're only three seconds off of Roxton, and with four to go, Tomac's on a pace right now where he could maybe win this thing. Here's our Toyota replay, and watch Tomac get around Dungey. Just gets the drive right here, lands, accelerates off that tabletop, and has the inside line. Dungey can do nothing about it. That gave Tomac a three-point edge over Muscat and Dungey, who are tied for second. Great run by Eli Tomac. We both were talking about how strong he came on towards the end of all the different points races in 2016. And Tomac seems to be finding his groove on that Monster Energy Kawasaki yeah, heading he into 17. Now you got to think about that Joker lane. Sure don't want to forget it. Keep an eye for those names that light up in green. Remember, like Smith and Reed, they've gone through when it lights up green. I look for all these riders to take it on the very last lap. Wait to the last minute, but don't forget. Major mechanic needs to remind you on the signboard. Yeah, look at Muscan trying to tiptoe his way through that hard, hard packed dry slick turn, and he's got to make a move. He's got to do something because Eli Tomac is on the move. Trying to size up Muskin now. Points as they run. Tomac on six. It's got that three point cushion over Muskin. And if he can pass Muskin, that's going to only widen that gap. Eli Tomac, prior to tonight, had one win in one of the three races back in 2012. And he's finished second in the points uh -oh. in 2014, but he's about to maybe win it here tonight. So with two to go, Roxon takes the Joker lane. Muscan takes the Joker lane. And remember, Tomac did not run this race last year, Jeff. Dungey didn't. He went, he went through, and I believe Tomac didn't go through the Joker lane either. No, he did not. Tomac moves to the front, but as we said, he and Dungey still have to go through the joker lane as they run one and two. If Tomac missed it, misses it this time around, that's going to take the 100 grand and the cup away. Dungey can tell you all about that. Yeah, he's been there before. Arguably one of the most memorable moments in the history of the Monster Energy Cup. Dungey missed it, thought he won. Villapoto rode up alongside and explained to him, hey man, you missed a joker lane. And the reaction of Ryan Dungey is one none of us that were here or have seen the highlight will ever forget. Here they go. Here These they go. should really tighten They're up in right now. Where's Roxon? This Moose is going to be great. Final lap. Moose Cannon. Tomac are right there. Roxon just in front of him and Dungey right behind him. How is this going to shake out in Vegas? Four riders we all expect to be title oh. combatants next year, and there goes Dungey by. What does that do to the points? Here we go. What an amazing finish is brewing. Diving into the sand. Tomac up by one point. Can Dungey get by Muskan? Here we go. Roxon's going to win it. Who's going to get there? Muskan beats Dungey. Tomac wins the Monster Energy Cup by one point over Ryan Dungey, and he still doesn't know. Look at that. What a wow. finish. One point. Tomac seven points. Dungey eight. Muscan nine. And now I Ooh. think it settles in for Tomac. What a great ride by the Monster Energy Kawasaki rider and all the momentum and a hundred grand he's going to carry into the offseason and the hard training he's going to have to do back in Colorado to get ready for Anaheim in January. We'll meet up with the team right now. He's like, wait, did I win? I won. <laughs> all right. Yeah, right there. He just asked. I did. Trying to confirm it. <laughs> Well, let's go back and take a look at our Toyota whole shot replaying. 
One of the best in the biz. Grabs this one, watches they drop down 435 feet all the way to the first turn. And Michael Lessie, let's see if he crosses it or if they give it to Reed. I think Reed yeah, got there. Yeah, Reed gets it and then has a crash coming out of the second turn. But watch Reed on that Yamaha trying to get it turned around. Great drive yep. off the corner. The veteran delivered on that whole shot. And let's hear from the winner, Jenny. Well, Eli Tomac, one point separated you and Ryan Dungey for that win, and you're now $100,000 richer. How rewarding is it to get the win? And when did you realize you'd won? Who had to tell you the news? Well, I knew going into the race that I had to be within, or basically right behind Ryan, if he was in front of me at the time. So um, that, that was uh, pretty dramatic. Well, I got buried in the first turn and then jacked up in the rhythm section when there was a crash. And, and I didn't see Ryan. And honestly, I thought I was ahead of him because of the way he was on the inside of me. But uh, he got around me and I looked up on like lap two and I was like, holy crap, he's up there. And at that point, it was just like, I, had to, I have to go for it. Um, but man, that was close. <laughs> It has been exactly a year, Eli, since you signed with Monster Energy Kawasaki. How much have you grown in that year? It seems like things are really coming together for your team ahead of the Supercross season. Yeah, I would say everything's just gelling right now for us. 100% um, better than last year feeling. I just feel like I can go out there and ride now. And uh, even though we won one moto, um, I feel like it's a huge step forward, you know. And. Um, yeah, that was just fun racing. Even though that last one was fourth, we got the overall, but uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Thanks to everyone, Monster Energy Kawasaki. Uh, man, that was crazy. We look forward to watching you in Anaheim. Thank you so much, guys. Well, congratulations to the entire Monster Energy Kawasaki team. We're going to come right back here to Sam Boyd Stadium to close out the show and get ready for Anaheim.